Great. Um, well, hello, everyone. Um, I'm Thomas Engelman, uh, the director of galleries at HCC. I'm thrilled to have with me today uh, Linnea Poole. So Linnea is a adjunct professor at Coton State University and the Maryland Institute College of Art. Um, as an art practitioner, womanist, and community educator, Linnea has taught theater performance, visual arts, and dance movement in various schools around the DC, Maryland, and Virginia corridor. Uh, Linnea holds a Bachelor of Science in Urban Arts from Coven State University and a Master's of Fine Arts and Community Art from the Maryland Institute College of Art. So without further ado, <laughs> welcome Linnea, and thank you so much for being here with us today. And the floor is yours. Please, um, let's dive into your exhibition. Yes, hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here and to um, just have the opportunity to uh, show my work. Uh, so yeah, so let's jump in. Share my screen here. Awesome. All right, so uh, Black Women in Fiber, uh, I tie, first of all, Black Women in Fiber is my baby. Uh, that I've been working. It's a project that started about three years ago and it entitles anywhere from fiber to photography. It, it, it's the whole nine yards. It's an intimate uh, setting between me, my art, my muses, all of that. Uh, but the show is called Homage and Homage is a tribute to the beauty of black women, their lineage, their ancestors, their lifeline and their growing legacies. Uh, this collection of black and white photographs are created for its viewer to look deep down and experience freedom and sacredness. Um, and also have here uh, just a little snippet of what Black Women in Fiber is. And it's a sacred and intimate calling uh, and connection between a Black woman's skin and spirit. Each piece of fiber is made carefully and designed by the guides of the ancestors. Um, the fiber visuals are worn and designed in forms of habitized silks, indigo dyes, col colorful uh, raw tool. And each uh, Black woman that is photographed is not told or is placed into any particular poses, and they are all told to react to the fiber, and their actions are captured through my lens. Uh, so I wanted to definitely put that out there um, as we jump into uh, the photographs. Great. All right, so starting with uh, this image here, which I've titled it Her Reflection. Um, all of my muses, I know them personally, whether it's through uh, a work relationship or just being social media buddies <laughs> or even down to the students uh, that I teach. Uh, but this woman in particular, I was you know, going through a lot so going through a bad breakup and all of that. And um, I have a special connection um, with her and we decided to just, you know, make magic uh, happen uh, within the studio. Um, I didn't tell her to, you know, pose any in particular way. Uh, and yeah, I just, you know, just was clicking my camera, you know, and I just caught this shot in movement of her, you know, just being herself and being within the moment. Um, also, during my studio sessions, uh, I have music playing. Sometimes it's jazz. Sometimes it's like, you know, straight like feminist music or <laughs> all of that good stuff. Uh, but this image, um, out of many that I have with this particular muse, uh, resonated with me. And I decided to put this in black and white, uh, especially with the hair in the movement. I feel like the hair is just kind of dancing within the wind. Um, we had no fans or anything going. She just was swaying side to side. And even within like um, uh, her body language, her eyes that are, you know, closed, it was just, this image just really, really resonated with me. Yeah. Right. And going on to the next image, uh, which is a student that I got a chance to work with. Uh, and um, this, this, this baby uh, means a lot to me. Um, actually, it's a funny thing is that I actually were working with, she has a sister, a younger sister, and her younger sister was in my class. And, <laughs> but long story short, I wanted to um, just have a day with her, uh, you know, just to um, show her how beautiful she is, her spirit, 
uh, just her energy, uh, meeting her, you know, every day at her school. Um, and I didn't tell, you know, you know, this uh, young lady to pose in any particular way as well. Uh, it's just her eyes, um, her hair, just everything. The energy was just so good. Uh, and, you know, I just got a chance to, you know, capture it on camera. And her mom as well, I want to give her a shout out to her mom. Her mom is amazing. Uh, she's an um, hair artist uh, and does hair in the Baltimore city community. Uh, but besides all of that, you know, this is, you know, this particular uh, tiny human that I call it uh, is, okay. you know, hearing to me. Um, and this is also from that um, particular shoot. I call this her lineage. I came up with her lineage because of the lines going through her hair. It kind of reminds me of like a, a tree of life or a family tree, as you would call it. Uh, so just, you know, the strips of the braids and they're going in different directions. Um, it, you know, I was like, this is literally like lineage, you know, and braids, you know, in black culture mean a lot, you know, to us. Uh, and also the piece that she's wearing as well, it's uh, different strips of a fabric and it kind of aligns with her hair. Uh, and I wanted to capture it, you know, from, it's like on a side angle, uh, but yeah, it, I just loved it. I just went around in circles, just taking pictures and she just sat there <laughs> being her beautiful self. Yeah, it's, it's, they're wonderful photographs and her, her gaze is, is so stunning in that photograph. Yes, yes, yes. And I mean, I didn't even realize until after, you know, I pulled up my image. I was like, whoa, like, this kid, <laughs> no experience. This was her first uh, shoot and yeah. And the fibers too really frame her face beautifully. Yes. And it was an unfinished piece. <laughs> <laughs> it was an unfinished piece, but I was like, you know what? Let's just try it this way. And, you know, and she just like embodied it, you know? Yeah. Uh, this image is my beautiful daughter, Sarai Grace. Uh, and <laughs> I love her dearly. That's my baby. And I titled this her ancestor's dream because, you know, um, not to get too personal, but, um, my uh, grandmother, my maternal grandmother and paternal grandmother, uh, they're deceased. And I just always think when I'm creating art, I feel like they are with me when I'm making my art, but also like if they were here in the flesh, oh my goodness, like what, what, <laughs> and they saw this, I can imagine this in their home. They're showing off their little, you know, showing off the photo to their friends and all that stuff. Um, but this image was, it just, ca you know, captured. Um, the great thing about my daughter is that she watches me. Uh, she's not only, you know, my muse that I have with me all the time. She also is the art director. She's always, you know, oh, mommy, I need this. I need that. <laughs> Let me help. You know, I need to model too. Let, you know, and this particular day, she actually, you know, asked me to uh, take her photo. And um, yeah, I captured this in my studio in Baltimore and it just went on from there, you know? So I was just, I, I don't know, th this whole image, you know, the eyes, all of that, you know, it just really resonated with me. And she's wearing um, a habitized silk piece and she actually wrapped it around herself. Like she just wanted, she said she wanted to be a queen. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you're a queen and the baby's breath, a uh, baby's breath is a favorite of mine, uh, adding it to her hair and having her hold it, you know, as a bouquet, it was, you know, it was on from there. This is also, uh, you know, from that shoot as well. Um, I told her to just, you know, kind of look to the side um, and she was doing her own, she was doing her own thing. Uh, but looking at this, it makes me uh, think about, you know, my legacy and while I'm creating, you know, I'm creating to create, you know, a legacy. I'm setting my legacy for her because uh, my dream is, you know, for her to, uh, you know, be an artist as well. You know, uh, right now she's in the paint. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, she does, the, you know, the photo work, but, you know, painting is her thing, but still, you know, this is my legacy, you know, my, my lifeline. Sure. Yeah. 
Uh, this image here, uh, this particular muse is very, very, very special to me. Um, we actually had a connection uh, over 10 years ago and then reconnected through social media. And we just had, you know, uh, a meeting and, you know, magic happened from there. Uh, I did not tell her to pose in any way. I was just having my camera. We were vibing. Uh, she actually styled her hair with the baby's breath. And um, she wanted to wear the silk in um, the way that she has it on right now. Uh, so yeah, this was literally all of her. She was just, you know, feeling some kind of way. I'm like, hey, let, let's make some magic. And I titled this Her Curves because I love the silhouette and, um, you know, just highlighting a Black woman's curves. So it was just, of course, it's kind of obvious, but still, you know, just this whole image alone and i have a, a tons of images uh from this shoot but this one in particular it's the bomb uh and also like with the background um you know and i want the viewer to literally just have their eyes you know kind of go down into you know the curves yeah. yes absolutely that you're definitely concentrating on the contour of the figure and you know it's also really great to hear uh, your relationship with the people you're taking photographs of, you know, just your uh, your playfulness back and forth and giving them a lot of control. I, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, um, I, I I just, I love having, because uh, I want it to be an intimate experience. Um, you know, and I've been on some photo shoots where it's like, turn here, turn there. And I'm like, yeah. no, like just be your natural self. I want to capture the naturalness I want to capture all of you without me telling you what to do. Uh, and, you know, and just pretty much just being in the moment. Yeah. yeah. And that's what art is about. Like when I'm creating, I'm in the moment, you know, I don't, sometimes I have a sketch of what I want to create. Uh, and then it comes out completely different, which happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Until I'm satisfied, you know, I'm like, I'm not satisfied yet. I'm going to keep on uh you know playing around with this piece whether it's silk whether it's um you know wood or a you know a photograph i'll just keep messing around with things until i'm satisfied right, right. uh and uh this image as well uh the same use uh titled it her glory uh based off of the hair the naturalness in the hair the baby's breath, it's like literally taking a breath, taking a moment to just breathe. Uh, so I titled it Her Glory because the crown is, you know, our glory. The baby's breath is so sharp and beautiful in that image. Yes, it, yes. It, it's, it's so complimentary to her pose. It's fantastic. Yeah. And actually this, I think she was not, I think I just snapped it. <laughs> Yeah. I, I always I'll just keep snapping you know it doesn't matter I think she actually was fixing her hair or for to pose and I just snapped it like oh I like that snap this really quick <laughs> yes uh um this uh muse is uh a cousin of mine um I just you know like love her love her love her uh and um I had a day where, you know, I called on, you know, my cousins to, you know, play around in the yard because it was a beautiful day. I made a couple of pieces and, uh, you know, they all got dressed up. We were in the backyard uh, and they, you know, everybody just had, you know, things on modeling and doing their thing. Uh, but this image here, I don't even, to be honest with you, she just looked up, you know, and uh, the sun was going down. Um, but yeah, it was just such a beautiful image. I decided to um, make this in black and white just to highlight uh, her skin, um, the pose, uh, looking up. And even, you know, um, this was taken in 2019, but just looking at this image now makes me think about, you know, the brighter days, you know, because we're in COVID, you know, a pandemic. Uh, things are different, you know, and for artists, definitely, you know, like we're creating and creating and it, it's, it's hard, it's hard, you know, uh, not having access to museums and, you know, uh. <laughs> yeah, 
isolation. <laughs> yes, yeah, just isolation, period. So we're just constantly using our hands to, um, you know, take a moment to breathe and, you know, get our, our frustrations and just create and be the creative be beings that we are. Uh, so yeah, so uh, this image was just, you know, just snapped it and yeah, I love it, I love it. And that one is titled, She's Sacred. Uh, this image uh, is called Her Righteousness. Uh, it gives off this, you know, like, like queen of Africa feeling for me. <laughs> uh, the silk piece that she's wearing, uh, it's about, I think about probably around eight or nine, between eight and 10 yards. It's a really, really long piece. And uh, I told her to kind of play around with it. And she decided to not only wrap it around um, her bust area, she also put it on her head as, uh, you know, adoring her crown along with the baby's breath. And that was just, you know, amazing. Uh, the fiber piece, I actually made it. Uh, it's a habitai silk piece that I over dyed a few times um, using different techniques uh, and, just love it, you know, uh, the habitat silk can be worn on, you know, as a head garment, uh, it can be worn um, on your body, on your waist, wherever. Um, and also it can be hung, you know, as a, you know, sacred piece in your house, on your wall. It's so many things that you can do with uh, the silks that I create. Um, so yeah, I love the details uh, of the silk. Um, being, you know, coming through the image. All right. And last but not least, uh, this one is She Covered. Uh, she Covered uh, took place uh, outside on a cold day, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, it was cold outside. Uh, what I do love about being outdoors, uh, especially when you're making art or just, you know, having fun, uh, we decided to, you know, and just, just have fun and just have like a nice shoot. Uh, this is just raw black tool. Uh, because tool, you know, is introduced to, uh, you know, girls uh, early on, tutus and, you know, whatever, uh, or party. Uh, so, uh, but with this tool, I wanted to, I wanted her to wrap herself um, in it some kind of way. And I did not think that she literally was going to wrap <laughs> herself around <laughs> in it. And it, it was just an amazing uh, image to uh, capture. And the posing, all of that. Uh, yeah, and you know, this is local and we made the magic happen. It was a lot of folks, you know, walking around like, are they really doing this right now? Aren't they, isn't she cold? And she didn't care. She's like, I'm me, I'm the queen. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, if I may, I, I have a question in general for the exhibition, um, knowing some of your, um, other bodies of work, um, your fabrics you use are extremely colorful um, and they're beautifully dyed uh, as well. Um, what was your strategy behind kind of using black and white imagery um, with this particular exhibition? Yeah, uh, so I decided to uh, have my images all in black and white. Uh, I, I, I was really going through, um, I'm really going through a lot, you know, trying to process um, my craft, my artistry, and also being an educator, uh, activism, you know, in my community. I wanted to just, I didn't want to just focus on the color. Um, my goal was to, you know, I wanted the viewer just to experience what they were seeing. Cause I do play around with colors a lot, especially indigo. That's one of, indigo is my favorite. Uh, but I wanted the viewer just to, um, you know, be in the moment while they're viewing uh, the photographs. Um, COVID hit my family, uh, you know, and at the time of even developing, uh, you know, my images, uh, bringing them together, it was it was very difficult for me uh, to, um, yeah, just just to you know think of I, I, just to concentrate, you know, it's you know it's a lot 
it, it, it's a lot for um, us artists, but I just wanted my viewer just to be in the moment, um, you know, look at brighter days, uh, look into the eyes um, of these beautiful black women, uh, as well as, you know, the fact that it's Black History Month, you know, mm -hmm. why not give, you know, homage to black women? Uh, yeah, so it, it, it's, it, it's difficult. It's so hard, you know, um, uh, for us artists and educated, everything. I'm going forever about, you know. Sure. Yeah. And, it, and you know, there's a, another question I have too, uh, while I have you here is, um, you know, we're confined now to online exhibitions for the most part. Um, when we're back in person and I get the pleasure of having you at the gallery, um, you do a, a, a lot of movement-based dancing and projects. Um, can you imagine or foresee this body of work, um, you know, coexisting with perhaps like a performance piece as well when we get into the space? Oh, definitely. Uh, I mean, right now I'm dancing at home, but I miss, miss dancing because with my fiber, uh, I didn't even mention that, I'm sorry, but yeah, like, you know, I dance with the fiber as well, uh, dance outside in the winds. I have other folks dancing with it. Uh, so I am hoping to have a uh, African dance circle, you know, with family, friends, other artists, uh, students, whoever mm -hmm. just needs to, you know, just get it out. Um, I had a huge, huge um, uh, uh, dance um, ancestor circle um, for my thesis back in 2018 at MICA. And it was amazing. I mean, just for folks dancing for one and two minutes, they were like, woo, it was like a free, like they just wanted to, you know, just be free and be themselves and the drums, everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely down for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it, it's been so great having you virtually, but like I said, I'm very much interested and can't wait to have you in person. Um, yeah, I really just want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, and so everyone, just so you know, uh, this virtual exhibition, uh, Black Women in Fiber Homage, will be uh, available or featured uh, through March 14th um, at the Horowitz Center webpage. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us, and you've been great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. That'll do it for us. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>